do you think he tricked you? Like this was like some trick he had up his sleeve. Yeah, I feel tricked. A Valley police officer accused of lying to a driver, tricking him to give a breath sample during a DUI stop. ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscopine got the body camera video and it raises a lot of questions. Yeah, both about this case and your rights. It's about 1.30 a.m. and a Gilbert police officer is making a traffic stop. He claims the driver was going 40 in a 30. That's why I stopped you. You have your license. I do. Okay, can I see that? Am I able to... Um, yeah. Do you have any weapons? No. Okay. You're fine. How much you had drink tonight, man? No. None? No. Okay, nothing to drink earlier? Nope. The officer doesn't believe him. Okay, real quick, Cody, let me just take a look at your eyes here, man. Is that thing I can just follow with your eyes? Mm -hmm. He does what's called an HGN test on his eyes, then asks him to get out of the car for more tests. Right, quick, deep breath and blow. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. I don't need that. The officer arrests the driver and reads him his rights. And then the officer says he needs to do one more thing. Okay. All right. Um, there's one thing I want to just take a look at your eyes real fast. Can you just close your eyes and tuck your head back for me? Okay, no medication use or anything like that? Allergy medication, that's it. Okay, that's it. Um, what kind of allergy medication? Oh, I've never heard of that one. Okay. All right. And one last time, I just want to look at the other eye back over here. Because, you, you know, were you taking any kind of medications or stims? Nothing like that? No. Okay. All right. So just close your eyes because there's something. I'm looking at your eyes as they uh, tremble right there. Okay. You can look at your eyes. Hey, look at that. Positive for alcohol. I'm not an idiot. The officer is actually now a sergeant, Andrew Templeton, and the driver, that's Cody Matner. It's hard to, you know, go back and watch that video because I, it brings back the feeling of, you know, being tricked into doing something. I had never been arrested. I don't really know my rights. I don't know what he's allowed to do, what he's not allowed to do. So, yeah, I feel like I was tricked. In Arizona, you have the right to refuse a breath test at the scene. If police have enough evidence, they can get a warrant from a judge to draw your blood. And I was already in, arrested in handcuffs at this point, so it really, I'm not really sure what, what he was looking for. Yeah, that's right. And so you tip your head back. Did he touch you with it? Do you remember? Yeah, he, um, I mean, I felt it, like, touch my nose. Okay, you can go with your eyes. I've asked many colleagues, and no one else has ever seen what they saw in this video. Chris Doran is Cody's defense attorney. Yeah, I think that this is deception at its finest. Gilbert police declined an interview request. They also wouldn't comment specifically on this case, but in a general statement, they did say, quote, the use of a preliminary breath test instrument to collect an open air sample to identify the presence of alcohol is neither listed in nor forbidden by our policy. In plain language, they don't have any policies on this. I'm not an idiot. It's just concerning to know that People can be exercising their rights to refuse, and the idea that people can be handcuffed, tricked into closing their eyes, and then having an officer do this. Doran says he can't find much, if any case law, on anything like this. And he wonders if Sergeant Templeton or other Gilbert officers have done this other times too. Why? Listen to the body cam. Do you think I'm an idiot? No. That doesn't look like any of your typical patrol cars, does it? I work on a DUI, that's all I do. That's what I do, that's what I teach. This is my job. Records show Templeton did not mention the quote trick in his warrant application to get a blood draw. So how does he mention it in like the actual written police report? All, it's very brief. All he says is a passive nasal sample or something to that effect. One line essentially. Okay. Not that, hey, I asked him, you know, I need to do this one thing, put his, you know, tip his head back, close his eyes, and then actually did another thing. Yeah, none of that is mentioned. After the stop, a judge did approve a blood draw and Matner was arrested with misdemeanor DUI. It seems like this officer is worried because he doesn't have any field sobriety tests other than HGN. He doesn't have any admissions. And I'm the king of England. So it almost seems like it's his ego that he wants to make sure that he is getting this right and he will go to any length to do that. All right, have a seat, watch your head. Now this case is still ongoing and the defense attorney is raising a constitutional question. If a driver has the right to refuse breath tests, can an officer pull a trick like this? Here's the last thing Gilbert wrote in their statement, quote, as prosecution is still pending, 
No further comment will be provided regarding this incident. But the defendant's attorney has raised this issue within the case, and the court has yet to rule that a constitutional violation has occurred. We'll keep an eye on the case. So for now, I'm Investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15, Arizona.